dreamers of dreams. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Corinne, and this is day number seven in 10 days of a vegan Thanksgiving. This is my honey Dijon, vegan honey Dijon, pork loin or pork tenderloin. This was really, really delicious. It's completely gluten-free. Let's jump into the recipe. So I have here some oyster mushrooms and the official name of these mushrooms are king oyster mushrooms. Tree mushrooms, um, that's a nickname for these, but when you look for them, they're called king oyster mushrooms. So I have some white beans as well as some potato starch. And this is a, a vegan pork bouillon I found at the my local Asian market. And I just pureed that. And here it is in the bowl. To it, I'm adding some brown rice. And this is cooked brown rice. The recipe is on my blog, listed in the description box below. And I'm getting started here with just a sheet of rice paper. And on goes a layer of my white beans and brown rice. And then following goes the mushroom. Now on the recipe, I changed the amounts. I put just a little bit less of the white beans just because I wanted the texture for you guys when you cook it to be a bit firmer. So when you see the end product, if you want a softer, uh, a little bit more softer end product, then go ahead, you would use the full cup, but there's more details on the blog site. All right, and so I'm just wrapping it with another sheet of rice paper. And here I'm just going to wrap up the ends as well. And this is optional, you don't have to pan sear this. Um, but I just quickly pan seared it before I put the glaze on. But it is optional like I said. And this is just some of the vegan honey which is made from apples or you can use agave or uh, maybe some simple syrup with brown sugar. Some parsley and whole grain Dijon mustard with just a little bit of the regular Dijon mustard. And I baked this in the oven at about 350 for 30 minutes. And that was it. So you can see the texture here. It was very, very nice. I just wanted a little bit firmer. I thought a little bit firmer would be more ideal, so I did alter the recipe a little bit for you guys, but you do have some wiggle room there. And this is the recipe, completely gluten-free. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you tomorrow with day number eight. Before you leave, make sure you go over and check out my Instagram account and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I would love to see your food pictures, so make sure you tag me in any of your vegan food pictures and check out some of my other videos. I have a couple linked in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it and I will see you next time.